Do you know what today is? Do you know what today is? It's day three of Infamous. Are you guys ready? We got Santa here. Day three of Infamous. We're for entrepreneurs, bloggers, people who want to create success for 2018. 12 days. We're on day three. So stay tuned. We're going to talk about something that's really important that nobody teaches you about business. Nobody teaches it. I can't understand why. I got cited yesterday for having Mariah Carey on. <laughs> anyway, I'm Shauna Yao at TotalGenius.net. And today we're going to talk about the number one thing that's essential to creating success in your business that nobody teaches you. They talk about it a lot, but nobody says that this is like the one key. And I don't care if you're a multi-million dollar company or you are a solopreneur or you're a blogger. This number one thing that nobody teaches you that is the secret to business, that's what we're talking about today. So yesterday, if you missed yesterday's video, we talked about uh, money and all the 13 ways that you can make a million dollars next year that are super easy. Today, we're gonna to talk about that one thing that nobody teaches you for entrepreneurs, bloggers, uh, large, small businesses. The number one thing, are you ready? It's called confidence. Don't turn this off because I'm gonna to show to you how that's true. So the truth is, it is a crowded online environment out there. And if you are not owning it and looking like you own it, feeling like you own it and speaking like you own it, you are not going to attract the amount of people that you need on social media. You're not going to attract people who can pay you money. And quite honestly, you're not going to be speaking what your purpose is. And so nobody's going to have a reason in this crowded environment, to follow you or buy from you. And this is particularly important because we live in a very social media world where you're basically on from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed and every time you pick up your phone. And that means that you can't just pretend to be confident, you actually have to be confident. And there's a big difference between knowing what you do and owning what you do. So as I said, you know, this is a very crowded online environment. So confidence is something that can be really easily picked up. And it's a, it's a vibe without going woo woo. But it's something that comes out when you, it's like a tone of your voice. It's confidence in being who you are and risking judgment from others. I hate to say it, but that's really the basis behind it. It's that you are willing to get out there and not just be good at what you do, but own who you are out loud. That means if you have strong opinions about something, let's say you're a fashion blogger and you believe in I don't know, like wearing a crown on your head every day, but you don't, there's something, a little piece of you that will be missing every time you show up. And that little piece of you, you don't think it, but people can actually read it online, in your pictures, in the words that you say, in the slight hesitation of your voice. And so, if you're an entrepreneur, and let's say you are a say you're like a coach, a health coach, and you believe in something like, um, let's say, uh, like eating, you have to eat green vegetables every day or, or something like that. And instead, you see everybody that's really popular is telling people to eat potato chips. So you go and you just tell people to eat potato chips. But deep inside, you're like, no, you know, really, people should be eating these greens. But you don't say it. There's that silent message that you're sending across that makes you appear not confident. And that means that that little silent pause, that tone of your voice, 
the way that you look, the way that you smile, the things that you don't say actually work against you. They make people not want to follow you, not want to buy from you, and basically to create not success. And this is just a, a problem that's rampant because we're human. So when, does pe- when do people feel confident? When, do, when does that day come by when you actually feel confident? It doesn't. Oh, <laughs> the truth is, it's a decision before it actually happens inside of you. It has to be a decision. You are either going to be forced into it because you've failed to produce income, customers, or anything because you're hiding. But what ends up happening is that you actually have to decide. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. I am going to be myself and fuck it if people don't like me. That actually is what happens is that you reach a point inside of you where you can't stand you anymore. And one day you wake up and you look at your social media and you're like, who the hell is this? Why am I saying things to try to get people to like me when now I don't even like me? And that leads to beating yourself up in your head, more not confidence, and then more failure. And we don't want to see any failure. And so the first thing you have to do is decide. So I'm going to talk about something I've talked about for years. I tell all my clients, I tell everybody, I must say it in every video, but it's called active focus meditation. It's not staring at the back of your eyelids like some people teach or like everyone's talking about because that's not what meditation is about. It's not about, you know, clearing your brain. We have 60 to 80,000 thoughts a day. You aren't going to clear your brain. Period. But what's going to end up happening, it's called active focus meditation. So, oh good, good Jane. So what it is, is you go outside within an hour of waking up. You put on your tennis shoes. I don't care if it's fucking raining. I don't care if it's 10 below, 20 below, 60 below. You put on your tennis shoes. You're going to go outside and go running or walking in a, at a quick continuous motion for at least 20 minutes, at least. You're gonna put on your headphones, listen to your favorite theme song. You know what my, my what's on mine right now? <laughs> Everything changed. All right, that's on my playlist. But you pick yours or whatever and it can change. But this is going to get you in your genius zone because what ends up happening is your endorphins combined with the music, then I want you to focus. Yes, you're not going to clear your brain. You're actually going to focus on who you are at your highest self. Who is the person that you aspire to be? What are the qualities that you see yourself being when you are at your most successful? What are you doing when you're at your most successful? Are you sitting in a big office with big open windows and you're staring outside going, how did I do all this? How is this money just in my account? Wow, I can't believe I put myself out there and totally just killed it. Who are you when you're most successful? Are you like totally healthy? You have this amazing body, flat stomach, and you're like, woohoo, I look amazing. <laughs> who are you? Because that's who you're going to be when you're running, doing your active focus meditation every morning. What ends up happening, this is science, is that you create new neural pathways in your brain around, guess what? <laughs> your confidence. Not your fake confidence, but your confidence in who you are. Because if you can imagine it, so if you're picturing yourself at your most successful, when that feeling is, it's like, oh my God, I'm amazing. That actually is who you are. It's just that you haven't been focusing on that. You've been focusing on, Wow, why doesn't anyone like me? Why am I so stupid? Oh my God, I can't believe, like, what's wrong with me? What is this zit on my face? Oh my God. You're so focused on that that you can't see how amazing you are. It's not about going to the mirror and saying, I'm so beautiful, when you don't feel it. It's really about, what do you feel when you're not looking in the mirror? 
What do you feel when you're like, woohoo, I'm so excited just to be me, to wake up every day. I wake up with my dog Harlow and I'm like, I am so lucky to be alive. People have been so good to me. And you know what? I've fallen so low and I've earned every single moment of gratitude that I have in that bed. And sure, you know what? Every single day I end up beating myself in my head over something. But I know deep inside who I am and I'm very confident in it. And I don't care if people don't like me because then they go away and then there's more room for people who actually like me to come in. And the most important thing is when I go to bed at night, when you go to bed at night and you put your head on your pillow, you like you. That's all that matters. None of those people who aren't liking your picture, aren't like buying from you, they don't matter. They're so worried about what other people are thinking about them and why people aren't buying from them. (laughs) That's the truth. So the first thing you're going to do to get your confidence is active focus meditation. Now, first, the first thing is a decision. The second thing is active focus meditation. The third thing is, and I know, just brace yourself. This is about action. You actually are going to have to put yourself out there. Look, I don't even like video. Look at me. And you know why I'm not on Facebook? Because they don't have filters that make me look good. <laughs> That's the truth. That is the truth. And I like Instagram better. Facebook makes me feel like icky. I'm not sure why. There's nothing wrong. If you love Facebook, that's great. It doesn't make me feel good. So here I am on Instagram because I look good and that makes me feel good. I know that's a little vapid, but we're talking about confidence today. So show up where you want to show up. Speak your mind and own it. And then this is a very important thing. Once you do that, you actually then need to just turn it off. Like, don't go looking at how many people liked you. Don't go looking for validation. Don't be like saying, wow, did you see that? Because what, what you need to actually do is keep doing that. If you have tried to do that and then you're like, well, nobody likes it. Oh my God, what am I going to do? That's called not confidence. And what ends up happening is that the truth is nobody saw you. So there you are beating yourself in your head falling to lows, you know, wow, no one's buying. Oh my God, what's wrong with me? It must be because I did that thing or looked like that or put that picture out there or wrote that thing or, you know, did that bad webinar, whatever it was. And the more you do that, the more people can actually see you. And then you spend that time beating yourself in your head and then you try to rise up again and you're now even further down the hole. And if you keep going in that cycle, you're going to end up at a bad place and we just want to stop that so what are you going to decide today to own to be look to be out there do you notice that i started this video first of all i just want you to see this my mom made this before she died she made all of us kids this but I started my vi- I start my videos actually all of them, just me being me. I'm kind of silly. I'm fun. I'm kind of stupid, <laughs> and you know what? I'm also a genius. And what ended up happening is what I see a lot of people doing is that people who are experienced, who have a high level, who are really good at what you do, you end up focusing on that instead of who you are, and then you lose confidence, and then nobody can see how good you are. People don't buy. The whole reason why I'm doing this video is because this is the secret to why people buy. People, it, 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 if you do what you do, your connection is so jerky. Is it me? I don't know, Jane. Let me know if, uh, is it that I'm breaking up? If you do what you do and you're focusing just on how good you are, that's a given. Don't focus on how good you are. Focus on how good you are. Because how good you are in your business, whatever it is that you do, whether you are a blogger, a entrepreneur, whatever you do, that comes naturally. You're going to speak 
genius every time you talk. But the problem is, is that people don't just buy what you do. They buy who you are. And so what you have to do is put that out there and risk judgment from others and risk being you. Because when you do, I'm telling you, call it the law of attraction or whatever, but when you put yourself out there and risk being who you are, the universe, I truly believe God is, I truly believe God is here to grant you everything that you want when you decide that you're here for a reason. So I want you guys to own who you are, be who you are, and charge what you're worth. And we're going to get more, you know, yesterday's video, like I said in the beginning, if you missed it, we talked all about money, 13 ways to make a million dollars next year, how to increase your money mindset. Uh, we talked about it yesterday. And then uh, tomorrow and for the next many days until Christmas, we're going to be talking about logistical things, business, positioning yourself. Um, any other questions you have, any other subjects you want me to cover, be sure to DM me, write comments below this video, share this with your friends because this is what it's all about. Who's going to kill it in 2018? Who's going to make the amount you want to make, be the person you want to be, and get paid for being who you are? Who's with me? Hey, you guys, have a great rest of your day. Happy Instamas. And the rest of the, um, the videos are in my, on my YouTube and on my website. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.